Let's talk about some of the great uh, uh, structures, the, the Sphinx and the pyramids of guys and that sort of thing. There's been some controversy or some debate over who built the Great Pyramids of Gaza, who, of Gaza, who designed them. Why don't you elaborate on that? Well, when European scholars, uh, without justification of any kind, uh, thought that they had, uh, or somebody belonging to them had done it, uh, without doing any kind of investigation, they were built by men. When African scholars again return into power, challenge this view and then support by evidence, and they could not long, longer claim it, then it men, a little, I guess, green or pink or technicolor men from outer space, speaking whatever language you want, uh, built them without any, uh, equally without any justification. The evidence point to, number one, that the pyramids were built by human beings, and by the way, have nothing to do with slavery, nothing to do with a single Jew building the pyramid, and that was my religion, right? So I, if I'm going to be prejudiced, I should be the other way. But the evidence showed that Abraham, the first Jew, was not born when the last pyramid was built, and that's the reason. You know, it's no way it's written in Torah. The, the Jewish Bible that Jews built pyramid. This is a folkloric nonsense. Now, because the first time we are hearing of Abraham is about 1675 before the Common Era. The exact time we are hearing about the Hyksos, the first non-African invaders of Egypt. The, the Africans of Egypt are already in the 13th dynastic period. The invasion is going to end the 13th and start a new, or the first foreign invasion. All 95 of the pyramids are already built. The last of the 95 pyramids built in the 12th dynasty, Abraham is, isn't born until the 13th dynasty. So you can't build a pyramid before you're born. But let's go a little further than that. Uh, the first pyramid is built by Inhotep and became the first building ever built by stone by any human anywhere. Uh, that is going to change the whole world. Uh, the pyramids again, we see stones, the, the quarries are still there. Stones were quarried around where the pyramids are built and some were bring from tremendous distance. For example, there's a uh, hill called the Moatan Mountain, M-O-O-A-A-T-A-N, uh, where they come from the airport, you run into it. And stones were built, br brought from there a few miles by the cut them, show them down the ramp into the barges and bring them uh, at the site. Uh, the last piece of stone, of a stone, or you could call it a, a mountain or a hill, was left at Giza. And because of that, the Pharaoh Kafra, whose father built the second largest pyramid at uh, Giza and the second largest in the world because there are pyramids in Central America, uh, South Central America, and so forth. Well, he that was built. It is his head. They carved it. It wasn't built by the way. Like it was carved. His head, uh, the body of a lion, and the headgear of, uh, of of a pharaoh, and uh, that was called Kafra. The uh, Greeks came and saw it and thought it was a female uh, statue and call it Sphinx. That's a, Sphinx is a female name.